Welcome to Forest Edge Elementary School, the newest school in the Oregon School District. We are excited to show the community this beautiful K-6 elementary school that will be opened on September 1st, 2020. We are on budget and everything is coming together just as we planned. Our contractors, Findorf uh, Construction has done a fantastic job of keeping us moving forward. Uh, Bray Architects, uh, they're the architectural firm that's worked in the district for a number of years and they've designed a beautiful facility that is going to create a great learning experiences for kids. This is a fresh from scratch building and it's really an exciting opportunity for our teachers. This is a teacher designed facility and they had the opportunity to visit with the architects and the engineers, lay out their ideas and plans and it is unfolding in front of us. So we're on the east end of the building and yes. as we walk in we're entering the music room. This is one of the distinguishing characteristics in our district, has always been music education. And our music educators design this room. Uh, this is our chorus room and our, and our general music room right next to it. And it will be a beautiful facility that continues to enhance our distinguishing characteristic of music. This is one of three open air courtyards. And the idea with the courtyards is to bring in natural light into the learning experience and also create in the courtyard a, a learning lab, so to speak, for students. So it really accentuates as we look across the courtyard, you can see the natural light. And that was the number one priority that both staff and community members on our task force group mentioned was enhance the building with natural light. It's gonna just billow right into the classroom. Yes, that, that's one of the things. It's called carryover light. And you'll see a number of lighting systems that are at the top of the ceiling. And that's to create buried or borrowed or carryover light into the learning areas. Right now we're, we are in the center of one of the four kindergarten classrooms, which is right across from our second uh, open air uh, garden area. So it's uh, beautifully situated in the school, uh, right about in the center of the school on the first level. As a parent yourself and parents that were on the committee, what did they want most out of the school here being built? Well, the most important thing is the people. And that's not something we're building. They want to make sure that we have loving, caring people teaching their children. After that, they know it's an opportunity to design a school that has no barriers for kids and also accentuates what we know in research helps young people learn. This is a dedicated kindergarten area. The kindergarten wings are together. All of our classrooms are together. And then right across from the courtyard so we can have indoor, I'll say traditional, kindergarten learning as well as access to the courtyards so kids can see and experience the natural world through growing. So this is another locker room area. Correct, and then the stairway to the second floor. This is our third and final courtyard and th this courtyard also will have a, a garden and if you notice to our far left, you can see a stage. Yes. So this is a small outdoor amphitheater connected right in the center of the school. So this is the front entrance of the building. Yep. Of course, all this will be have we, double doors here. Yes, this will be a vestibule. Okay. And just like in our other schools, when you come in the main entrance, uh, there will be a vestibule ahead of us. So we're sort of in an airlock and we'll need to turn right and go into the office and then check in and register for the day. So once our, once our students are here, we, that's the safety feature that's designed into the school. This is the cafeteria and we also call it a multi-purpose room because when we're not using it for cafeteria, it's a large open space. There will be tables and small gathering areas so classrooms can use it for small group instruction during the day and obviously the community can use it 
uh, during non-school hours. I see there's a stage, is yes. that correct? Yes, that is a special feature that we designed. I know community members that have been at RCI know the stage right in the commons area. That was a theme that we brought forward from that design back in 2000 because of its extensive use and we have that in this facility as well. As we look up to the ceiling, we can see the clear story windows, again with the concept and the focus of bringing natural light into the facility. And there's nothing that can benefit our young people more in a calming way than having natural light in, in, their, large, in their large space. Absolutely. We are in the geothermal pipe room, and geothermal is the environmentally green energy system that we've incorporated at the middle school and at the high school, and this entire building will be heated and cooled with geothermal. One of the design elements of this school is to be a net zero school, which gets us off the grid, so to speak, from energy and it's also a wonderful learning experience and a learning tool that we can use with our elementary students. We know there's really not a school with a large gymnasium in the city of Fitchburg in our community, so this will be used virtually nonstop from sunup till way past school hours by community groups. And of course, it's part of our physical education and health curriculum as well. Important spaces for young people uh, to be active, and physical activity is something our young people just aren't getting enough yeah. of these days. So the name, uh, they've chosen the name Forest Edge, obviously because of the beautiful view here. It will be the best view in the Oregon School District in the fall. We are, oh my gosh. we are living the Forest Edge name right here. <laughs> and this is an open instructional area where teachers will be able to bring their classrooms, have great access to natural light, and we know that stimulates and enhances learning for young people. So here we're entering uh, the Discovery Center? Yes. This is a classroom. Now we're into the Discovery Center. And like typical libraries, we'll have small group uh, work areas. You'll notice the small group work areas are centered in the building and not associated with the sides of the building. And from, from an adult standpoint, all of this will be glass, so our staff will be able to look across the entire Discovery Center in one fell swoop. I'd like to take you forward to something the design team identified, and it's one of the key features of our Discovery Center. They've called it the nest. It jets out over the building, so the building comes to an end right about where we're standing, and the next 10 feet, this is an extension that jets out and it will have an incredible view of the landscape around our facility and uh, again it brings the forest edge right into Closer. our school. Yeah. And we're looking down on the center courtyard and then the actual physical space is the kindergarten classrooms. And this is one of our typical class, class sizes. We're in the fourth, fifth, and sixth uh, hallway. Again, all the classrooms are designed to look in a very similar way, but you'll notice you know, four large glass panels for natural light. And this is our, our STEM, or our STEAM maker space. That's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. The design capacity for this school is 600 students. And remember, we were designing for two elements in terms of capacity. We were overcrowded at Prairie View, Netherwood, Brooklyn, and RCI. We're still overcrowded at the middle school. So we will start this school year, 2020 to 2021 school year, with about 400 students, plus or minus. So we have some, we have some idle capacity or some open seats for our growth as we look into the future. And then our plan when we open up a new 6, 7, 8 middle school, we'll take 6th graders out of this school. We'll turn RCI from a 5, 6 intermediate school to a K-5 school 
and that will provide additional capacity for us to continue to grow. Dr. Bustler, thank you for the tour today. This is a fabulous building. We appreciate your time. It seems like we've been doing this for a number of years. Several with tours, years, several so, tours. This is yes. the first new one, but we've yes. been doing it and I've enjoyed my time with you. Yes. Well, we appreciate the coverage. It's so important for a community to have a historic event, whether it's remodeling a school, but this is opening up a new school. It doesn't happen that often. The last one was RCI 20 years ago, and we are so happy and proud of the work of our design team, our staff and community members that worked on it, and our community will love this school just as our children will.